Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day here at Darlington Raceway. First Lady Peggy McMaster, Governor McMaster, Speaker of the House Jay Lucas, Senator Gerald Malloy, Mayor Hines, Mayor Bird McPherson, NASCAR driver Elliot Sadler, distinguished members of Darlington County and City Council, community le leaders, and friends of Darlington Raceway. Welcome to a red letter day in the history of our racetrack. For more than seven decades, Darlington Raceway has been an iconic landmark on the NASCAR schedule and in the state of South Carolina. Through the rising popularity of NASCAR racing, Darlington Raceway has brought entertainment and excitement to millions and millions of fans across our country and even around the world. Our racetrack, affectionately known as the Lady in Black, has provided a style of stock car racing that fits well with its nickname of being too tough to tame. With our throwback weekend and commitment to honoring our sports past, present, and future, Darlington Raceway continues to maintain its place as one of NASCAR's crown jewels, and certainly one of this state's premier sporting events. Through the vision of our parent company, International Speedway Corporation, and Julie, it's great to have you here, we are thrilled with the near completion of this initial phase of capital improvements at the racetrack. Newer, wider, and more comfortable seats have been installed in Tyler Tower, Wallace Grandstands, and Colvin Grandstands. The sight lines in Tyler Tower have been greatly improved, and the seats in that section are now stadium-style chairback seats with cup holders. These new seats will provide our passionate fans with an enhanced race weekend experience and help make their stay over Labor Day even more enjoyable and indeed showcase a better Darlington. This recent project also includes a one-of-a-kind wall of honor which will adorn the front stretch and back stretch and honor each of the 49 drivers who have won cup races here at Darlington. Throughout this capital improvement process, Darlington Raceway has been blessed to receive the unwavering support of the state of South Carolina and its political leadership. From Governor McMaster, to the House of Representatives, to the State Senate, Darlington Raceway has the strong backing of this state, and that support is certainly indicative with the recent passing and the governor's signature of South Carolina House Bill 4009. Thank you. Better known as the Motorsports Entertainment Complex Investment Act, which helps provide incentives for our parent company, ISC, to deliver additional capital improvements in the near future, which in turn benefits this state, this region, and most importantly, our fans. We are honored to have Governor McMaster here with us today as we recognize the support that the state provides the racetrack and he will officially cut the ribbon on the new seats that have been installed. At this time, please welcome the governor of the great state of South Carolina, our governor, the Honorable Henry McMaster. Thank you, Kelly Thorpe. This is not our first time here, and we'll be back. And I would say to, uh, to all people who have never been here, you really need to come see this at least once. And if you come once, you'll, you'll keep on coming. It is a, a delightful thing. And by the way, for those of us who get confused when you go to a restaurant, you don't know if you want your, your, your steak rare, medium rare, well done. Sitting out here in this sun, we all well done. That's, that's how you can tell when it's well done. But this is a beautiful place. It's a beautiful part of the state. Kelly, I don't know if I've told you this, but Mom and Daddy were both born on Florence, Daddy on Dargan Street, Mom on Cherokee Road, and I got cousins all over the place. So I always very comfortable coming to this part of the st our, our great state, which, by the way, I need to tell you, not only are we in the spotlight on 
on racing, but uh, people around the world are looking at South Carolina and they can't get enough of it. And they say that this is the, this is the place to do business. <clears throat> they say that we are a handshake state. The only one they know of, they say when, when they're looking to do business and you're talking to people all over the country in South Carolina, when somebody gives you the word and looks you in the eye, shakes your hand, that it's done. And it's uh, the unique, Madam Mayor, is something that, that we have based on a lot of things in our history that made us the way we are. But this is a great thing, and I would like to, uh, uh, let me say this. I look at this not only as a sport, but as inspiration. It's inspiration for the young people to see the kind of excellence, the, the kind of innovation that is produced in order to produce this, this Labor Day race. It is really something to see. And I remember reading up on it years ago, not many years ago, but talking to Kelly about it. And I, I came across a, a, a fact, and that is that in the 1986 race, the two cars, I don't remember what they were, I don't remember what the drivers were, but the margin of victory in that race after 125 miles an hour average speed over 400 plus miles, the margin of victory was two one thousandths of a second. Now, I don't think the most skilled surgeon in America can draw a line more, <laughs> more fine than that. That's precision, that's excellence, and it takes a lot to get there. Let me ask that some of the folks who are, were instrumental in making this happen are here today to speak up. Speaker Lucas, if you'd come forward, please. Senator Gerald Malloy, Representative Robert Williams. If y'all come forward, this is, this is your, we've got fine legislators in South Carolina, and I'm happy to, to be here and to cut this ribbon and to celebrate this event. This is a great thing for South Carolina. We're standing out in the whole country. We're a model for excellence, a, a model for a lot of great things, and I, we want to continue to be that way. Gentlemen, if you'd like to have a word. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome our governor um, to Darlington County. Um, thank him for coming here. And for uh, Miss Peggy, um, thank you for always being by his side. Um, my wife always says that, that the governor has great judgment. And the reason he has great judgment because he hired my son. <laughs> and it shows that he reaches across the aisles to end up doing, doing, doing the work. To Speaker Lucas, um, obviously, we, we have a little protocol, Speaker Lucas, always recognizes what happens here in our county. When we got ready to file this bill, he says, this is technically in your district, not in mine. I do whatever it takes to end up getting it done. And so we decided that he would file the bill. DeWitt Zimps is somewhere out there. DeWitt did the background work um, for, this, for this bill. Um, Kerry, I know you were there the entire um, way. But I'll just tell you, and Representative Williams is always, he's a soldier, he's always there, always in support. Um, just to give you a little bit of ba background, what, what we knew what was is that the economic impact of this race is about $54 million. The total estimate tax revenues generated over $9 million a year. The total capacity with the infill is between 70 and 75,000. And so back in 2008, Jay and I had put together a package that would allow for half of the admissions tax. And so that was a 10 year window, it, it, it sunsetted. And so we had taken half, half of that, so in February, of this year, Darlington announced a $10 million upgrade. And so what we have done now is to allow this bill to end up making it um, a way so that we can end up having these seats. I have to tell you, on the inside baseball, um, Senator Hugh Leatherman was helpful as well. Uh, he has a small part of Darlington County. But we got to a point where this bill almost failed. Um, and during the time, Governor, the inside baseball is, is that Speaker Lucas and I got on the conference committee, we had another bill in the Senate that was attached to this one and something that we also needed. And then that was the time that, that Jay and I got together, Mr. Williams as well, but Jay um, ended up calling um, the President Pro Temper and says, you know what, we got to have the bill in Darlington County. And so could y'all make certain that y'all drop that other part off and so that we could end up making certain that this matter happens. So I would say um, for that is the power of the power of, of of a person that wants to do well here in our in our in our county. So we're able to get the bill passed, and I think that we'll have great things that would end up occurring. It's prime time. The race is coming here in just a few weeks, and so we want to make certain that we can pack those seats, Carrie, get everybody here, and so go out and spread spread the word. Um, I would tell you it's a privilege and an honor to serve as a senator in, in this district. Um, we have we, we're working hard. We have a good collaborative team. We want to thank you, the citizens, for being good, good um, folks here. We can't be who we ought to be until you are who you ought to be. 
So thank you for making Darlington County what it is. Governor, again, welcome, and thank you for coming here to share this special moment with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Governor, Ms. Peggy, it's an honor to have you in Darlington County today. I was kidding with the governor earlier about the best thing he did on this bill was not to veto it, and that was one really good thing. But I'm going to tell you, the best thing about Governor Henry McMaster and Ms. Peggy is he is a race fan, and he recognizes the importance of this racetrack not only to Darden County but to the PD region of our state, to the entire state of South Carolina. Um, during this process, as we talked with ISC, um, we began to hear stories about how other states we're helping with incentives to help racetracks grow and move. And there's no question in our mind, in the delegation's mind, in y'all's mind, we have the best racetrack in America. Um, the track Too Tough to Tame is the most historic racetrack in America. Um, what we need is some incentives to help grow the track, to help improve the track, to build it up to a stature that it has around this great nation of ours, and, that what, and that's what this bill does. It, for the first time, I believe, other than the admissions tax that, General, uh, that Senator Malloy talked about, promoted to do a general, I'm sorry, but Senator Malloy <laughs> talked about, um, um, this is really the first bold step that we have taken to have the state actually come in and um, give a credit for sales tax so we could put more money back into this great track. So I'm very proud of this bill. Um, I can tell you that Robert Williams next to me did an outstanding job of garnering support for this bill. I can tell you this bill wouldn't have become law, um, but for the efforts of Senator Malloy over in the Senate, you know, we send things from the House to the Senate all the time. Uh, we never know what we're going to get back. Um, it's liable to be hooked on with three or four different bills. We knew that if three or four different bills came attached to this, that it would kill this bill. So I want to thank Senator Malloy, Conference Committee, for all he did to help us peel the Senate bills off so we could have one bill for one racetrack, the greatest racetrack in America, the track too tough to tame. And we hope that over the next few years we will see the fruits of this bill and um, as this track grows and improves and um, and continues to make South Carolina proud. So thank you all so much. Robert, thank you for all your effort in, in what you did to run this bill on the floor. And I'll, um, I'll give up the podium if any remarks you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Certainly thank you, Governor, for being here and your lovely wife who are always by your side. Thank you, Peggy, for being here as well. Uh, thank all of you who have come today and witnessed this uh, historic event, a historic day in Darlington County. We are proud of Darlington. We love Darlington, and certainly we love our NASCAR. And, and certainly I want to go on the record to say, Kerry, you've done a great job here, and uh, we certainly thank you for your leadership here in Darlington around this race track here. Uh, matter of fact, ever since you came, Kerry, uh, I saw the growth here, and I saw the movement here at the track. So thank you so much for your leadership. <laughs> Last but not the least, thank all of you for supporting. And, and certainly without Speaker Lucas and Senator Malloy, this would never be possible. Um, Speaker Lucas signed me to the uh, conference committee on this bill. This, this was a difficult bill. And certainly we had our headaches, especially from folks upstate who really didn't want it to, to, to pass, but certainly uh, with Lucas' leadership in the House and certainly with Senator Malloy's leadership in the Senate, we were able to get this bill through, and, and we're happy about that. So we thank Darlington County residents. Thank you all for supporting us here at the NASCAR, and we look forward for many uh, monumental days like this in days to come. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, I think that's just indicative of the support that we receive in this state. And uh, I know I made a few trips down to Columbia uh, and visited with many people, 
as many times I called Speaker Lucas on his cell phone, he probably saw my number show up. And No, I don't think I'll talk this time. But, no, he's always there, very receptive. Senator Malloy always accept, uh, accepts my calls and very receptive. Representative Williams, I can't thank you enough, too, with what you mean to this community. There are so many people out here today that uh, play a role in this. Uh, I see Ann Hunter here and, uh, you know, Jim Hunter, former track president and, and NASCAR uh, uh, executive. Uh, we're so honored to, to, to – I'm so honored to be at a place that, that he was at. Uh, to be honest, I see Harold Brazington here. His granddaddy built this place. I see the Ramseys here. Uh, their, their granddaddy owned the property. Still have Ramsey Pond back here. And so many people uh, are invested into this track and into this community. And, um, you know, I can't tell you what it means, the, the, just the, the excitement and the responsibility to know that we put on one of the greatest sporting events in the state and maybe in the country here in a couple of weeks. So give yourselves a hand for that. Okay, my first race as track president at Darlington was in 2016. I come on July the 18th. I had really no idea what I was doing. Everything was already set up. I just didn't want to mess anything up, right? But the first driver I ever had the privilege of presenting a trophy to is this next competitor. And I remember I got up in front of the driver's meeting that Saturday, and I said, listen, I said, we're going to see a heck of a race. I'm going to give a trophy to somebody. I just hope I don't drop it. Well, I didn't drop it because this guy won the race. He won the Sport Clips Haircuts VFW 200 NASCAR Xfinity race that afternoon. He's a true racer that's had success at all levels of NASCAR. And he's one of the leading contenders this year to win the NASCAR Xfinity Series championship. And I can tell you right now, I'm pulling for you, Elliot. Thank you. He's the winner of 17 NASCAR National Series races. Please welcome the driver of the number one Chevrolet Camaro for Junior Motorsports, a true class act, Elliot Sadler. I tell you, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty humbling, uh, but very honored to be here today for, for such a big event. And I want to add on a few things uh, that I've heard already up here today, kind of echoing off what the speaker said. All NASCAR tracks that are successful, that make it in, in, in today's world, have great support from their local dignitaries, from their local politicians, from their governors. It's, it says a lot today about you and what you care about, what Kerry is doing here, about what you're doing for the program here at Darlington Speedway, and what you're doing for NASCAR. So being as a NASCAR fan, which my dad brought me here when I was seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years old, we came right on down 95 uh, to, to come to my first races here. But for you guys to be here today, like, like the governor said, being well done, nice and hot and steamy out here today, uh, but to show your support for the racetrack through the bill that you approved, that they can make improvements, uh, give our fans the best possible experience they can, they can have on any given weekend when they come watch a race here at this amazing racetrack, says a lot for your support. Uh, it says a lot for the, for the NASCAR fan and the local communities that, that you're involved in. So I really appreciate that from, from being a NASCAR fan. And also, Governor, as neat you say, this is a, a handshake state. You know what? You'd be very proud of Kerry. That, that's the way he does things. As a, as a competitor, as a driver, uh, we bring sponsors in here all the time. He's so upfront, personal, kind of like good home cooking for anybody that comes to, to be a part of this, uh, this event, this track, uh, uh, and really makes the experience the best it could be. So he is carrying on your handshake uh, tradition, but it says a lot for you to be here today as well. I tell you guys, this is one of my favorite tracks, and I keep hearing you, you know, everybody talking about the improvements to the track. I think it's great that we've widened the seats and we've got cup holders and they're nice and fancy. Just don't touch the track. We won't. Okay, leave the track nice and narrow. See how narrow it is getting into turn one at 160 miles an hour? That's what makes Darlington what it is. I raced here for the first time in 1996, and I got to say, I was scared to death before the first time I came. I'd been here as a fan. I'd been here as a crew member. But I'd never been on the track. And I was like, it's so tough. It's, it's so narrow. You have to run so close to the wall. But when you get out here and you compete on it, what made it tough is what makes it so special. And I think that's a lot in, in, in anything that you do in life. And if you've got to go the extra mile, it, the, the reward is so much more 
uh, for you to celebrate on. So, again, thanks for having me here today to be a very small part of this. Uh, it's neat, to, again, to see so many people supporting it, and Kerry is always putting his best foot forward in representing the track in the best way he knows how, and it, and it's so much heritage and so much history at this track. There's one man we trust to, to, to carry it along the way, and that's Kerry Thorpe. You're doing a great job, Kerry. We, we love coming here, and we can't wait to come back here in a couple weeks. So, again, thanks for having me. Um, looking forward to coming back and, and, and trying to get back to Victory Lane here at this place. This trophy uh, that we won was so special. It, my son took it from me, and it's on, the it's on the table beside his bed. So that I've got to get another one for my room. So, again, Let's do it. thank you guys so much for having me. Let me do it. It's done. Yes, sir. Yeah. Here you go, Turn brother. Turn this signature on the page. <laughs>